Offering the greatest risks and biggest rewards out of any career path in Star Citizen, piracy is a calling for players who would rather take valuables by force than earn them on their own. Welcome Immortals, I'm Vici Deum, here to go over the top 5 best pirate ships under $100, but don't forget to sub up to keep up since we're starting right now. Number 5. Arrow. Unmatched design, blazing top speed, and ultra-responsive maneuverability make the Arrow the most agile scrapper in its class. With a robust weapons package that provides firepower to spare, this is truly the classic light fighter, updated for the next generation of combat. The Arrow kickstarts this piracy list as a nimble, low-signature dogfighter that's excellent in the hands of any pilot and truly exceptional behind the throttle of an ace. For piracy, the arrow brings excellent DPS into any encounter and lets you leverage its twin size 1 turret, twin size 2 pilot mounts, 6 size 2 missiles, and a size 1 shield into any encounter, so you're striking hard and fast. And while it doesn't have any dedicated cargo space, it pairs well with any small piracy outfit to help soften targets before the cleanup crew can gather the goods. For these reasons, using the arrow for piracy is number 5. Number 4. Gladius. Contact with the enemy means that your craft will be taking fire. Though the experience can be harrowing, understand that the Gladius Light Fighter offers considerable defensive systems to protect the operator and keep the craft flying. Like the Arrow, the Gladius is a strong combat performer, pairing excellent agility with a powerful weapons platform, bringing 3 size 3 pilot weapons along with 4 size 2 and 2 size 3 missiles into the fight. But where the Arrow offers just 1 size 1 shield and 75,000 liters of hydrogen fuel, the Gladius doubles both. With 2 size 1 shields and a 135,000 liter hydrogen fuel, fuel tank, so it has prolonged staying power both in engagements and between jobs. For these reasons and more, using the Gladius for piracy is number 4. Number 3. Titan. This small, fixed-wing, multi-role platform excels in countless areas, from cargo to combat, touring, and more, offering excellent hardpoints, amenities, and capacities, both in its size and for its price. And piracy is no exception to its large list of roles. The Titan is a compelling pirate ship, given its 2 size 3 and 1 size 4 pilot weapons, 4 size 2 missiles, and 2 2 size 1 shield generators, along with 6 SCU in a convenient rear-ramped cargo grid that's especially effective for solo pirate players, providing them with a single ship platform to both disable targets and tractor those valuables back on board. For these reasons, using the Titan for piracy is number 3. Number 2. Avenger Warlock. Outfitted with an EMP generator, the Warlock imposes non-lethal suppression through powerful electromagnetic waves, capable of disabling any electronics within its blast radius, and rendering ships helpless to plunder. As such, the Warlock pairs perfectly with any pirate group that wants to use this ship to soften targets, leaving them vulnerable to assault or just unable to communicate a distress signal. Further, the agility of the Warlock lets it get in close to the action, allowing the pilot to execute that strike at exactly the right moment. For these reasons, using the Warlock for piracy is number 2. Number 1. 315P. Exploration is humanity's highest calling. Prepare to chart distant horizons with the Origin 315P. Featuring a more robust power plant, a custom scanning package, and a nose tractor beam, you'll be able to chart the stars in style. But beyond merely exploring the solar system, the 315P lets you explore other ships' cargo holds and makes an exceptional pirate ship in Star Citizen. While this ship can operate solo, leveraging 2 size 3 guns, 2 size 3 missiles, and 2 size 1 shields, putting the stolen goods on board its large 14 SCU holds, it pairs even better with a 
pirate crew by leveraging that nose-mounted tractor beam to quickly ferry items on board a larger cargo ship. Further, because of its small size, the 315P can be landed inside some of the larger ships, offering extended convenience for pirate flotillas. For these reasons, using the 315P for piracy is number one. But which ship would you choose? As part of a crew, I would take the 315P, but if I was solo, I would take the Avenger Titan. Have you ever committed piracy in game? Or have you ever been the victim of piracy yourself? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you immortals would like to join me atop Mount Olympus, I've created an org and discord. It's an incredible, inclusive community for both old backers and new players alike. Links in the video description. Either way, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. It's incredibly helpful for me and my channel, and I would really appreciate it. Thank you, and I look forward to seeing all of you out there in the verse.